Greetings everyone, Stefan is here, welcome back for another video. In today's video I will show you how to go live with your iOS device and I will show you what exactly do you need to start your live stream. So let's start with all the items that you need to start your live stream with, with your mobile phone. So the first thing that you need is this adapter. So this is a lightning to USB adapter as you can see. This is very important because you need that to start your live stream with your mobile phone. The second thing that you need is your iOS device. Uh, also you can use your iPad as well. So any iOS device, iPhone, iPad will do. Second thing that you need, third thing obviously <laughs> you need uh, USB microphone. So very important. You need a USB microphone as you can see. For today's video, I will show you how to use the Maono AU HD 300T and the more important is make sure that the USB microphone that you use is compatible with uh, iOS device such as iPhone. Also a pop filter, very important because you need to have this to uh, remove all the plosives and make sure that the microphone that you use, it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to monitor yourself, to hear yourself. This is very important. And also you need uh, any type of headphones. For today's video, I have my uh, trusted Audio Technica's ATH M50s X. This is probably one of the best monitor headphones. All the products that I mentioned in today's video will be in the descriptions down below. So make sure to check the descriptions down below. Also, very important to mention, it. also you need a microphone boom arm. If you don't have a microphone boom arm, just use whatever you have uh, to connect your microphone. I will show you the setup, how I put my microphone here. But it's very good because uh, it will give you the freedom to move, uh, especially if you do like a hand gestures. This is very good, but you can use whatever you have. Okay, so let me show you what do you need to connect your uh, microphone in order to go live stream. So the first thing you need to take your USB cable and let's connect it to your preferred USB microphone. As you can see, this is connected now. And now we need to take this adapter. So this is a lightning to USB adapter. You need that in order to connect your USB microphone to your iOS preferred device. So you take the other end of your USB cable and you connect it to the adapter here. As you can see, this is very straightforward. And now the other thing that you need is to take this adapter and connect it and connect it to your iPhone or iOS device. As you can see, this is very good. And now we're gonna connect our preferred headphones as well. This is very important to monitor yourself. You can use any headphones you have and any headphones you like. So we're gonna plug that here as well. So as you can see now, we have a blue light means that this microphone now is working and means that this microphone is compatible to your iOS device and also in order to see if this is working but before that make sure to put your a pop filter because you don't want to have plosives uh, in your recordings this is very important so in order to see if this is working make sure you put the headphones on And just when you talk to the microphone, you're gonna hear yourself means that the microphone is connected to your preferred iOS device. Okay, so let me show you how to go live now with your uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is the YouTube app, as you can see, and this is my YouTube channel. So the first thing they have to do is just press the plus sign here. And the third option is go live. You're gonna press that. And once you press that, this is me, as you can see, we have a couple of settings that we have to change before we go live. So the first settings is basically the title. So you have to put a title for, uh, for your video, make sure to change the title. 
So you can put any title you like, depends on the video you're making. Also, the other option is the visibility for today's video. For the purpose of today's video, I'll choose uh, unlisted. But when you're ready to go live, just uh, press the public. So you'll go live. And then we have a um, couple of other options that we have to check. So if this video is made for kids, obviously you can choose uh, is made for kids. Uh, yeah, for today's video, as you can see, my one is not made for kids. So uh, depends of your content you make. Also, we have a go live together option, which um, YouTube pushed a couple of uh, months ago. But this is going to be a separate video. Also, you can put your descriptions down below, location. Also, you can shadow your videos if you want to go live, let's say, uh, for a certain time of the day. Uh, this is pretty good. So once you um, check your settings, what you have to do is just press next. And now we have to pause for a couple of seconds for our thumbnail. As you can see, this is our thumbnail now. So when the settings are ready, what we have to do basically is just press go live. And as you can see, voila, now we are live. I know this video will be unlisted, but um, this is how you go live with uh, your uh, YouTube app directly uh, built in. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think uh, this uh, is uh, the easiest uh, e way to go live with your iOS device, uh, mobile device, or um, let's say uh, iPad if you have. And also you can hear the sound quality of this um, Amono AU HD300T. The sound is very good. So let me know what do you think. And as you can see, this was our video for today. How to go live with your uh, iOS device. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Do you think that this setup is going to work for you if you want to go live with your mobile phone or in general if you want to record videos just straight away from your uh, iPhone or iPad. As you can hear, the sound quality of this microphone is very good. The video is very good. So I think this is the most uh, easy way to go live on YouTube or for uh, podcasting or any type of uh, content. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think? I really appreciate if you smash the like button. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for uh, future uh, uploads. Thank you very much for watching. This was Stefan. I'll see you in the next video.